Okay, this comment in my Telegram group deserves its own video. This is what I'm talking about. We have the best Telegram group because we're not getting blocked. If you ask a question, you don't get blocked. Unfortunately, that's not the case for Drip or Animal Farm. If you ask a question there, they block you, which goes back to the video I just did, which says that's a huge PR problem. Forex, please fix this. Don't just let Barter Town, Ray, get in there and delete questions and say your mama jokes all day for investors that have their money trusting you in the protocol that you put out. They deserve answers. Hire a PR team. Ugh. Anyways, check out this comment I just got. Boom. Someone said this, Rob T. He's one of my admins. He said, my two cents is for a token or a coin to have a long-term sense of value. It needs to have utility. Guys, what is the utility of pigs? Uh, right now it's a, yeah, exactly. You say, well, what is the utility of drip? I'm going to tell you the upcoming projects that are going to give major utility to drip. But right now, piggy bank and pigs have an issue. They have a problem. Let's go back to the comment. He says it needs to have utility. It can't simply be about making money. People need to be able to use that token coin for something other than just selling it. At this point in time, Drip has minimal utility other than investing it in the garden, although almost everyone simply buys the LP and the liberation contract instead. And pigs have zero utility. You basically have to sell them at some point to get some sort of return. But the question is, why would someone buy them from you? Forex has some great ideas on building that utility. A lottery? Yep. A lending and leverage mechanism? Yep. With PancakeSwap, he announced that. Some sort of NT NFT partnership? Yep. With Loot NFT. Bet Fury partnership. Again, all of these have been talked about. Nothing has had a date and time set to it yet. But that's okay. Forex has been a busy man. Hopefully he gives that to us soon. All of these make holding um, or better buying drip and dog pigs worthwhile. But right now, only selling them when you have enough is all people are aiming to do. Man, isn't that good analysis? I just appreciate people like that that are unbiased, they're objective, and they tell you what's going on. Because I agree, the success of any project is all about the utility. What is the utility of the coin at hand? If you're earning drip, why would people want drip? Well, it's because with this protocol, I can only use drip. With BetFury, with um, the lottery, with the lending protocol, with the partnerships. Um, so we're gonna be, be nice and be patient as investors, Forex has done a million different things. He launched the animal farm a month ago. He just launched the piggy bank, okay? But they didn't launch perfectly, let's be honest. So what's going to cause price action to go back up in drip and in animal farm and in piggy bank? I'm telling you right now, the answer is utility. Utility, utility, utility. Say it with me. Utility, utility, utility. That was for you to just like this video because I'm being real. We need people in this freaking community to be real. So like this video, subscribe so more and more people can see this. Maybe Forex sees this and says, I agree with this idiot. I agree with him because Forex, listen, I'm not a developer. You are smarter than me beyond comparison. But if you follow through with these partnerships, I am with you. I think we're going to see price action go back up, but we got to see this type of thing be delivered upon. So someone said, well, what type of utilities in store for the future? Check these out. Now, some of these, I can't verify all of them, but let's read them. This comment said, we've got drip cross chain bridge that I can confirm. I've heard Forex talk about this, meaning if you have Ethereum, if you have something that's off Binance smart chain, you'll be able to go to drip faucet. Boom, get in. Also, um, Curran, Drip NFT partnership. Uh, I, I'm not sure about that. Atlantis Metaverse, I've heard about that. I know that right now he's talked about Loot NFT. So he got Hip Hop NFT Marketplace, Drip Atlanta Jewelry Store Partnership, Focus Visual Influencer Onboarding, Drip Faucet Collateral Lending Platform, that we talked about, Pancake Swap, Drip NFT Battle Game on Solana. Yes, uh, I've heard him talk about that. He's creating this like, developer servers it's a game that forex is working on bullish uh drip cross chain eth metaverse drip multi decks drip back treasury by ohm fork uh, i don't know bet fury drip casino okay i could see that fiat to drip on ramp by credit debit applied big exchange listings are in process i've heard him talk about getting on binance i don't know if they accept these type of high risk uh, DeFi projects on Binance, maybe they do. So these are the things that are going to help cause price action to change. Nobody will want to buy something if the only utility is for you to sell it. 
there has to be utility attached to everything. The reason Bitcoin goes up in price is because it becomes an actual um, place of store of value because it's a limited supply and people are convinced that it's of worth something and there's millions of people, huge market cap. And so now it kind of is writing its own story where if somebody wants Bitcoin, then they'll pay for it. Uh, Bitcoin is also a better utility than gold or fiat because it's decentralized. You don't have to go through a bank. A bank is closed on Saturday, Sunday. It takes four days to transfer money overseas. Okay, that that gives it utility. It's just a better innovation. It's better software, better code, right? Gold, yeah, I can go through the airport with 15 pounds of gold. Do you not think that's going to be an issue? Or I can walk around with my cell phone, have my little MetaMask wallet, and have the equivalent in Bitcoin. And if it's traded around the world, that's why Bitcoin is successful. That's why Ethereum is successful. Why is Ethereum successful? Because all these projects are built on the Ethereum mainnet. That's why. So we need utility. It's coming. Be patient. As you look at your bag and you're like, the price is falling, what's going on? I get it. Hopefully, partnerships are coming, marketing is starting, and we will soon see a price reversal. So for me, what am I doing? I'm not buying the dip till I see a trend reversal. We've had over a month of stable decline in the price of drip. Um, I'm, I'm going to be patient. Once I see at least a four-hour chart where the price curls up and we see some price action, uh, then I might start dollar cost averaging back in. But that's just me. You do whatever you want. Our whole team knows it's all about risk capital here. None of us are aping into anything. We keep it unemotional. We're not remortgaging the house. All of us have bags and stocks. We've got real estate. We've got all the big stuff, Bitcoin, Ethereum. This is risk capital. That's what we're doing. And so Forex, please watch that last video I did called Dear Forex. I give you an idea of what you can do to help this community. I really think it'd be great to have a centralized YouTube channel, someone that's willing to show their face. I'm not saying you have to show your face. The founder of Bitcoin didn't show his face. That doesn't bother me. But have someone on your team that does. They take Q&As. They do live Zoom calls every day. Can you imagine a project? that that is that transparent i'm telling you that will garner trust credibility and where you get trust and credibility you'll get new investor money so instead of spending hundreds of millions of dollars on marketing putting stupid banner ads on coin market cap that don't work i would hire it in a team hire real people to be the voice piece for you and answer questions build trust and credibility it's everything and right now we don't have a lot of trust and credibility because unfortunately the launches of animal farm uh, they that wasn't the best launch when people got that rev token and, and that rev token wasn't worth as much and they created FUD about that and they're upset about that. And then you got the piggy bank and you missed the launch three or four different times. And, and then uh, some people got their piglets. They got like a thousand bucks, got them like 15,000 piglets. Not that many, but you know what I mean? And then the other guy gets in five minutes later and, and then Ray's in and he's, he's on your team and he's the one that has the big amount. And you're like, people speculate. They don't know. So I'm just telling you, clear up the FUD. Get a PR team. It'll help you, man. You're a dev. You don't need to be doing the voice stuff, answering questions all day. We need you to focus in on these partnerships, get people to sign in ink, and let's get the show on the road. By the way, the one that wasn't mentioned is Chainlink. So that's going to help with the lottery system. We got lots of stuff coming up. I'm excited, but I'm also cautious. I can love my favorite sports team, but it doesn't mean I have to watch them play and think every play they make is the best thing since sliced bread. Does that make sense? Guys, like and subscribe. I will see you guys back here on the next one. Hang in there. We'll see you real soon.